This video is on solving word problems using the Pythagorean theorem. I'll use this first one as an example. The diagonal of a computer monitor is measured to be 17 inches. If the width of the monitor is 12 inches, find the height of the monitor to the nearest inch. The first thing you should always do when doing a word problem like this is draw a picture. So let me do that first. It said, the diagonal of a computer monitor is measured to be 17 inches. There's my 17 for my diagonal. If the width of the monitor is 12 inches, there's my width, find the height of the monitor. Looking for my height. By the way, when you go to buy a TV or something and you buy a 60 inch TV, the 60 inches is the diagonal measurement, not the width or the height, the diagonal. So this will be considered a 17 inch computer monitor. Okay, so now that I have my picture drawn correctly, I can use Pythagorean theorem because when you divide this computer monitor, which is a rectangle in half diagonally, you have two right triangles. I'll concentrate on the lower. My legs are unknown X and 12 and my hypotenuse is 17. So I'll plug 12 in for one of my legs unknown for the other, and my diagonal is, or my hypotenuse is 17. Square them, subtract 144 from both sides, take the square root of both sides, and the answer is 12. If your diagonal is 17, then, and the width is 12, then the height is about 12. So really my picture is off, it should be more like a square, although the height is actually slightly larger or slightly smaller than the width, because we rounded that one to 12. Number three says a square floor tile has a decorative line connecting the diagonal corners. If the sides of the tile are 12 inches, what is the length of the diagonal to the nearest inch? So first, try to draw a picture representing this situation and stop there and we'll check it. A square floor tile, so I drew a square, has a decorative line connecting the diagonal corners. There's my decorative line. If the sides of the tile are 12 inches, a square, all the sides are the same. What's the length of the diagonal? So I'm finding this diagonal. Now let me give you a moment to see if you can find that missing length. Find that diagonal length using the Pythagorean theorem. All right, my legs are both 12. My diagonal I'm trying to find is my hypotenuse. When I square my 12s, I get 144. When I add them together, I get 288. When I take the square root of both sides, the answer is about 17 inches. Number four says, Andrea needs to place a 20 foot ladder against a building so that it reaches a window 16 feet above the ground. How far from the building should she place the base of the ladder? This is the most used Pythagorean theorem question I've ever seen. Every textbook I've ever used, every testing software I've ever used, always has a question where you have a ladder leaning against a house going up to a window and your two legs are the height of the house up to the window, the width, the distance between the bottom of the house and the bottom of the ladder, and the hypotenuse, the ladder. Try to draw a picture representing this situation and then stop. So here's my picture. She needs a 20 foot ladder. So there's my 20 foot ladder against a building so that it reaches a window 16 feet above the ground. So there's my 16 feet up to the window. I could have drew a picture of a window there. How far from the building should she place the base of the ladder? So that's what I'm trying to find is the distance from the base of the ladder to the building. So Pythagorean theorem, you could have done a squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared, or you can know this is a Pythagorean triple. Three, four, five, all times four is 12, 16, 20. Pythagorean triple, the answer is 12.
Okay, try to draw a picture for number five. Number five says a television screen is 24 inches wide and 48 inches long. What is the length of the diagonal to the nearest tenth of an inch? Try to draw a picture representing that situation. So here's your picture, the width and length, width and height, base and height, 24 and 48, you're finding the diagonal. It really doesn't matter which one of those you put for 24 or 48, when you're finding the diagonal, you're gonna get the same answer. So now try to find the length of that diagonal. To find the length of the diagonal, we use the Pythagorean theorem. I plug my two legs in for A and B, I'm finding C, square them, add them together, take the square root of both sides, the answer is about 53.7 inches. Okay, try to draw a picture representing the situation for number six. The bases on a baseball diamond are 90 feet apart. How long is the throw from third base to first base? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. Try to draw a picture to represent that situation. Here's my picture. I drew a baseball diamond. The diagonal is from third to first, and my legs are my two baselines. From home to first is one leg, from home to third is the other leg. So now try to find the length from, or the distance from third to first, which is the hypotenuse. Okay, when you find that 90 and 90 are your legs, square them, add them together, take the square root. The answer is 127.3 feet approximately. By the way, the distance from home to second would be exactly the same as the distance from third to first because your base paths are also 90 and 90 here and here. Try a picture for number seven. The top of a 10 foot ladder is placed against the wall so that it reaches the top of the wall. If the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall, how high is the wall? Think about your, well, try to draw a picture. Here's my picture. The top of the ladder, the top of a 10 foot ladder. So there's my 10 foot ladder is placed against the wall. So it reaches the top of the wall. The bottom of the ladder is six feet away from the wall. And I'm measuring how high the wall is. Go ahead and try to find how high the wall is. Okay, so if you use the Pythagorean theorem, six is one of your legs, 10 is your hypotenuse. Square them, subtract 36 from both sides, take the square root of both sides, you get eight. I say if you use the Pythagorean theorem because six, eight, 10 is a Pythagorean triple. Three, four, five, all times two is six, eight, 10. Okay, we're going back to number one. I saved this one for a reason and then we're gonna do number eight and then we'll be done. Number one, a rectangular room measures 20 feet by 15 feet. Find the diagonal of the room. Draw your picture. Here's my picture. Find the diagonal. And you could use the Pythagorean theorem. The reason I say this for the end is I wanted you to have several where you've seen the Pythagorean triples. Three, four, five, all times five is 15, 20, 25. So the answer is 25, Pythagorean triple. Okay, let's do one converse. Number eight, you don't have to write anything down. Just look at them. Which numbers represent the measures of the sides of a right triangle? Which one do you think it is, A, B, C, or D? Now, if I decided to plug all three sets of numbers in to the Pythagorean theorem, on A, 54 would be C, because it's the biggest side. On B, 50 would be my hypotenuse, C. On C, 50 would be my hypotenuse. And D, 50 would be my hypotenuse, because it's the longest side. However, I don't have to plug these in because I know 30, 40, 50 is three, four, five times 10. It is a Pythagorean triple. So the answer is D, Pythagorean triple, 30, 40, 50. Three, four, five, all multiples of 10. Let me show you one more. You don't have to do this, and I just wanna show you one more. A support wire, let me zoom out. 
The support wire stretches from the top of a pole that is 30 feet tall to an anchor in the ground 40 feet from the base of the pole. How long is the wire? Let me show you my picture. There's the picture we have. Now, can you do the answer in your head without writing anything down? The answer is 50. That is a Pythagorean triple. Three, four, five, all times 10, 30, 40, 50. Pythagorean triple. If you remember, especially three, four, five, six, eight, ten. 10, those are your, anything multiples of three, four, five is the most used Pythagorean triples. There are other triples used as well. Those are just the most popular. Thank you.